Asia Irving's diving efforts pay off against Perry Hall. Franklin's Andreas Price levitates for this catch against McDonough. Perry Hall's Kara Dietrich with the golden goal, Darius Sample uses every inch of the end zone. All coming up next on BCPX 14. Hello everyone and welcome back. This is going to be an exciting show as we bring you county championship highlights. But first, we have two regular season girls basketball games that featured teams that would meet in the championship. First, Western Tech traveled to Hereford to take on the Bulls. It was senior night in the Hereford zone, as the Hereford Bulls were looking to keep up their winning streak as they faced the Western Tech Wolverines. Picking it up early in the first quarter as senior Libby May got the party started as she drains this jumper. But freshman Destiny Ward had an answer as she knocks down this three from the corner pocket. Both teams battle back and forth as Hereford seniors Isabella Peterson and Bryn Deluzio controlled the paint. But Western Tech's junior Tiffany Manning was dropping threes, keeping them in the game as the first quarter ended with both teams tied up at 13. The second quarter, Hereford came out hot as Reese Harding got loose and dropped three threes in the quarter. Hereford outscored Western Tech 16-9 in the quarter. Western Tech only scored nine points late in the quarter, Hereford up 29-22 at the half. The third quarter was full of runs from both teams. Hereford maintained their seven-point lead with this beautiful pick and roll by Harden and Peterson. But Western Tech fought back and was able to cut the lead down to two on this fast break by Ward, who puts in the deuce. Then Hereford built up an 11-point lead to end the quarter up 46 to 35. Hereford picked up where they left off as their outside shooting was just too much for Western Tech to handle. They went on to win big, 63 to 47 and continue their five game winning streak. Nice win by the Bulls, but Western Tech still advanced to represent Division II in the county championship. In other girls action, Division I leader Pikesville took to the court against Lockraven. Let's see how that game played out. The Pikesville Panthers visit the Lock Raven Raiders to take on a head-to-head -head match in girls basketball. Lock Raven Raiders are back on offense. Julie Rose throws a mean pass to Kaziah Akinye, who swings the ball back to Julie Rose, resulting in a smooth layup. Pikesville is back on offense with a great setup of a play. Sydney Barnes swings the ball to teammate Taylor Sawyer, who shoots an effortless three-pointer. Point guard Michaela Kemp shoots and misses. Tyra Robinson from the Panthers catches the rebound, drives down the court, throws a great assist to Saunders, who scores. Forward, number three, has the ball and is in it to win it. She drives straight to the basket, scoring another layup for the Lock Raven Raiders. Forward, Taylor Lewis throws a weak pass that is quickly intercepted by Korea Roberts. Roberts throws an assist Francis Glower Bay, who goes for a fast break and scores a layup. Point guard Maya Carnes comes back with an unguardable offense and zooms straight to the basket. She scores. Tyra Robinson returns the energy by driving to the middle of the foul line and scores. Lock Raven is pretty warmed up now. Back on offense with a great play of successfully swinging the ball, number 11 shoots who scores. Francis Glower Bay passes the ball to teammate Kristen Sterling who loses the ball to Lock Raven. Julie Rose pulls a fast break and quickly passes the ball to number three, who successfully scores. Number zero has the ball again, who was actively being guarded by Julie Rose, forcing her to pass the ball to number two. Luckily, Pikesville catches rebound, swinging the ball to Haley Zlotnick, who scores an easy two points. The two teams begin to press down the court. With only a few seconds left in the game, number zero comes through with a profound throw to her teammate who scores the layup. Both teams play their heart out. With Pikesville being in the lead, the score was a whopping 23 to 65. Pikesville comes away with an easy win. Now switching over to some wrestling. 
Here are the highlights of the County Wrestling Championship that was held at Newtown High School. Varsity wrestlers in Baltimore County gathered at Newtown High School for the County Championship Tournament. At 106 pounds, Damon Tiller of Owings Mills earned a point on an escape in the second period and held on to defeat Lansdowne's Riley Bozeman 1-0. Owings Mills earned their second individual championship at 113 as Alex Dufour scored a major decision over Sparrow's points, Wayne Brooks, 12-2. The 120-pound bout was a classic as Lock Ravens' Marquise Kemp earned a 4-3 ultimate tiebreaker win in overtime against the points, Matt Fouts. At 126, Eastern Tech's Ryan Wagner earned his third county title, pinning Overly's Jerome Von Zaya at 1 minute 6 seconds. Sparrows Point earned their first individual championship at 132 pounds as Danny Davis earned a 6-2 decision over Lansdowne's Jacob Lipscomb. At 138, Owings Mills, Phil Smith had a commanding lead over Milford Mills, Jabias Barr, before getting the pin at the 318 mark. The Eagles picked up another weight class at 145 as Machiavelli Amaya earned a 10 to 1 major decision over Kenwood's Dalen Duncan. Delaney Sam Block held on to take a 7-6 decision over Woodlawn's Joel Turner Rogers at 152 pounds. Owings Mills, Roel Nunu earned his second county title, pinning Sparrow's points, Jake Lohr at the 436 mark. At 170, Hereford's Jimmy Kells needed just 35 seconds to dispatch Sparrow's points, Jake Rollo, and earn his second county title. In the 182-pound bout, Owings Mills, DeAndre Space defeated Woodlawn's Justin Briscoe in a 5-1 decision. At 195 pounds, Woodlawn's Antonio DeShields scores a late takedown to take a 3-1 decision over Alex Carr from Sparrow's Point. The 220-pound bout was also decided by a late score, this time in overtime, lifting Franklin's Elijah Solomon to a 3-1 decision over Western Tech's Ike Kalu. In the final bout at 285, Parkville's Demetrius Daniels earns a 5-2 decision over Nick Shufflebein of Delaney. Congratulations to Owings Mills for coming away with the county title. Just a two-point difference between the Eagles and runner-up Sparrows Point. Now, highlights from the girls' basketball county title game between Pikesville and Western Tech at the CQ Arena. Let's see who came out on top. Pikesville girls basketball team returned to the county championship hoping for a different result as this year they face Western Tech. First quarter, Amaya Frazier spots sophomore guard Taylor Sawyer in the corner and she drops a three. Then Sawyer again from outside the arc and the result is the same, net. Then an errant pass and Wolverine freshman Destiny Ward takes it for two. Frazier finds Sawyer again, and she drains another three. And yet another. Panther defensive pressure and Francis Glover Bay with the swipe and score.
Kayla Saunders with the lay-in as Pikesville took a 15-8 lead at the end of one. Second quarter. Panther fast break, Keontae Lewis with the layup. At the other end, Sydney Stokes finds Peace Azika for the bucket. Robinson along the baseline, floater for two. Then Lewis with the short J, and it drops as Pikesville took a 25-19 lead into the half. The third quarter was all Pikesville. Sawyer inside to Christian Sterling for a pair. Panthers cash in on a fast break. Then Pikesville on the move again as Saunders finishes. Fourth, Stokes with the steal and she finds Ward for two. But Saunders with a block and finds Tyra Robinson who does the rest. More Panther pressure as Roberts gets the steal and takes it herself. And Roberts adds another. Pikesville earns the first county title in program history. Awesome job, Panthers. Congrats on the win and good luck to both teams as they continue on through state playoffs. Now onto the boys' county championship matchup between Newtown and Franklin. Newtown entered the game with an undefeated record in their division. The boys' county championship matchup saw Newtown looking for their first title in three years against the surprising Franklin Indians, who claimed the top spot in Division II. First quarter, Franklin junior Ben Murphy drains a three from the corner but Martez Robinson finds the range for three for the Titans. Murphy jacks another three attempt, misses this one, but Quentin Conwell is there to clean up underneath. AJ Sims, looking for some space, turns and hits as Franklin took an 11-5 lead after one. Newtown hit their stride in the second, Kyrie Johnson inside for two. Then, Andrew Mills with the steal as he takes it to the cup. Martez Robinson finds Maurice Smith in the corner. Franklin hung in, but the Titans took a 31-19 lead into the half. Newtown continued to pull away in the third, Smith driving for a layup. Darrell Collins from outside, and he finds the mark. Franklin's Murphy hits a three. He led the Indians with 19. A.J. Sims pulls up for two of his 13 on the night. Collins hits again from outside. And Smith drives and dishes to Robinson as Newtown extended their lead. Franklin wouldn't quit though. Murphy with another three but that was answered by Collins. Andrew Mills working in the paint. Then Mills inside again, and Newtown regained the county crown with a 65 to 46 win. Newtown really gained momentum as the game went on to seal the county title. Good luck to both teams in the state playoffs. With many of our local teams continuing through playoffs, make sure to catch our next show and follow us on Twitter at BCPS14 for more updates. Thanks for watching.